Hello 10th graders, this is Ms. Natalie, your history teacher for this year. I hope you are doing well, safe and sound. Uh, in this tutorial, I will discuss the material included for the second week. So let's start. Now, the first lesson for this week will be lesson 2.2 titled Empires in Mesopotamia, making it the first part. We are going to work on a case study based on Hammurabi's Code, titled Hammurabi's Code in Action. Now, as for the main objectives for this lesson, by the end of this lesson, you'll be able to explore briefly the achievements of the Akkadian Empire and the role of its emperor, Sargon, through comprehensive questions and engaging class discussions. So it's going to be very, I would say, a very short discussion about that. And then we're going to move on to the main um, uh, let's say um, the main work or activity that we are going to work on yeah so you'll be also able to immerse to, uh, immerse yourself in the world of ancient Babylonia uh, by exploring the application and implications of Hammurabi's code in various scenarios through the interactive case study so as for the main objectives we have Mesopotamian uh, sorry the key concepts we have Mesopotamian Empires, we have Akkadian Empire and Sargon, um, Codify, Hammurabi, Case Study, Hammurabi's Code, and Civil Law and Criminal Law. Of course, you're going to find the attached uh, Savas ebook uh, lesson here. Um, now, Okay, these are the discussion questions for identifying Akkadian Empire and Sargon. We're going to use these questions as, as a base, right? As the essential base for this lesson before we start with the case study. And then we're going to watch this video about the Code of Hammurabi and then discuss it before we start with the activity. And then we are going to start with the actual activity. Um, so we are going to talk about the case study in details. As you can see, everything that you need is provided here. Okay, of course, you're gonna work in groups. Okay. Now, for the second day of this week, we are going to continue working on lesson 2.2, Empires in Mesopotamia, part two. Uh, in this lesson, uh, you will describe the main achievement and contribution of Mesopotamian empires, including the Hittites and Assyrians through the interactive gallery and map. You will be able to research and discuss the accomplishments of Mesopotamian empires, including Assyrian and the new map Babylonian. Uh, here we have the key concepts. Aside from the Mesopotamian empires, we have the Hittites, the Assyrian empire, the new Babylonian empire, and Nebuchadnezzar, the, the second. Um, here you have uh, tutorials. Um, to broaden your knowledge about these topics. So in other words, in this lesson, we are going to focus on the two Mesopotamian empires, Hittites and Assyrian empires, through interactive activities, activities which are the interactive gallery and the interactive map, as you can see here. We're going to work on these. Um, this is the first, I would say, part of the interactive activity, which is the interactive gallery. And then we have the interactive map. And then, of course, we're going to discuss these questions together um, about the Assyrian Empire and the new Babylonian Empire. As for the third week of this lesson, it, it will, uh, it's the, the same lesson, 2.2, in part in Mesopotamia, part 3. You will be able to analyze and discuss the profound impact of um, the roasters' teachings in the, on the beliefs, values, governance, and cultural identity of the ancient Persian Empire. We're going to talk about this briefly, and then we are going to move on to the Phoenicians, and we're going to talk about their contributions through interactive an interactive map, a chart um, supported by research. As for the key terms, we have. Mesopotamian empires, the Persian Empire, barter economy, bureaucracy, the Phoenicians, and alphabet. These are tutorials for you to watch and understand more. Here is the interactive activity that I just told you about. You're going to talk about it briefly. Um, 
about the Persian Empire. After you finish analyzing these questions, we are going to discuss them together. Um, and for the tutorial number two, we it's about a brief history of the Phoenicians. This is our main focus in this lesson. And then it is followed by the interactive activity titled the Phoenician Contributions Map and Chart. Um, so, yeah. What are going, we are going to talk about this more in class. As for the fourth day of this week, we are going to debate, right? Um, and the debate focuses on exploring uh, controversies in ancient Mesopotamia. Here are the main objectives and the word wall. Um, we are going, of course, before we start debating, we need to review the rules and obligations of any debate, right? We are going to, uh, to you will be distributed into groups. We're going to talk about the rules. And you have tutorials here that will help you understand the rules of debating, right? Here um, is the, um, I would say, the debate topic. It's not specified here. I just gave you an idea that, um, a idea about the topic, but I, I will tell you about the topic exactly as a title, I mean, in class. Because usually in debate class, you do not uh, prepare for the topic. You need to be surprised, right? Okay, now on the last day of this week, the fifth day, um, we are going to, you are going to prepare for presentations. I will tell you about them um, three days prior to the presentation. Of course, these presentations should focus on exploring ancient Mesopotamia. Here are the main objectives and the key concepts. You have here some tutorials that explain um, uh, the right way to present. And then you have another tutorial about ancient Mesopotamia in general. Um, and here is the interactive activity, which is basically the presentation that you need to work on. It, it, these presentations will focus on providing an overview review of ancient Mesopotamia, right? Here you have the duration, materials needed, instructions. We are, I'm going to explain them to you before you present, that's for sure. Don't worry. That is it for this week. Thank you so much for listening and have a nice day.